This video will be very useful for people who have low space on their C drive or D drive. Learn how to free up space on Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. Please make sure you watch the whole video and you will definitely save a lot of space. Click on the search icon and type file and you will find file explorer. So I'll click on that and once a new window will appear, go to this PC or simply go to C drive where your operating system is installed. Now, once you're here, look for Windows, Windows folder, and just do a double click. And here we are looking for software distribution. So this is a location where when you download the update and go to downloads, and from here, you can delete all these files, which is not required. So basically, these are all the Windows updates which you have already installed. So just press shift and delete, and this will definitely save of space so you can do all the check mark do for all and you can simply delete that so once you're done just close this and press window and R it will open up the run window or you can simply do a right click and then click on run and here type W S R E S A T now this will remove all the cache from the Microsoft Store it is also a very effective thing to remove unwanted files, unwanted junk or cache sitting there in the computer and taking a lot of space. So once you have typed it, click on OK. A new window will appear for a very short while. So it's basically removing all the cache, all the temporary files from the computer. Once this is done, do a right click again and click on run and type TEMP temp and then click on OK. Now this is a location where all the junks all the temporary internet files get stored you don't require you do not require these so you can select any of the file press ctrl a and press shift delete so some of the files may not get deleted so that is absolutely fine you can skip that once this is done do a right click on the start icon again and then click on run and this time type percentage temp percentage once you have typed it click on ok now this is another location of temporary files the cache files you can simply press ctrl a and then press shift delete and this will remove all the junks all the things currently this is a very clean computer still I had 1 GB junk in your computer you might have 30 40 or maybe 50 GB of junk sitting there so you can save it and here you can skip some of the files which is absolutely fine once this is done you can press window and R again and type prefetch now in Windows 11 you won't find much prefetch but in Windows 10 you will definitely have a lot of prefetch these are the files which is not required by you so you can select that and you can delete it so as I am using the Windows 11 computer it doesn't have prefetch in it but if you're using Windows 10, you will definitely have a lot of junk there. Remove it and see how exactly the space. Now the last step which we are going to do is, again we will do a right click and click on run. And here type clean MGR. You can note it down and then just click on OK. Now this will open up the disk cleanup utility, very effective tool to remove all the junks which is there in your computer and optimization files thumbnails temporary files recycle bin so you can do a check mark and all and just click on ok and you can also let me know how much junk which you have deleted on your computer how much space you have created in your computer and there is one more tip which i want to give you is to go to the file explorer and here at the left hand side you will find pictures documents downloads just go one by one and see how much junk how much files you have if you do not need any file you can delete it simply go for the large files like video files or sound files you may have downloaded some movies which you do not want to watch again so you can down you can delete those and save a lot of space so this might take some time but definitely worth it if you're system is running low space this will definitely boost it 
So I hope you have enjoyed this very short video. Please hit the like and subscribe and leave a comment for sure that how much space you have saved. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day.